Thomasville racing legends from Cars 3 are arguably my favorite racers from the world of cars, even more so than the Piston Cup racers that I love and the World Grand Prix racers. Just something about them is really cool. They have retro vibes and they have these really cool old car models, which just hit different. That being said, today I'm excited to open up and review five awesome Thomasville Racing Legends from Cars 3 that have been released very recently. So let's get started. First off, we've got Heyday River Scott, definitely one of the more memorable Thomasville Racing Legends. It's my first time getting my hands on him. And here he is in the cool red bleacher background for the 2022-2023 line. There he is, got some sweet artwork. Then if you flip him around on the back, you can see some of the other cars you can get I'm excited to get Fair Game and Rich Mixon right there. Let's pop Heyday River Scott out of the package. He's certainly a very cool looking old hot rod style of car. You can see he's number 34. Up top here we have his name, River Scott, picked out there in white paint. He's got these red rims, these cool grooves on his tires. Over on the front here you can see the grill, his headlights which have been covered up. You can also see into his engine right there. Then around the back you can see his license plate. He has a fairly happy expression as well. Comparing him to Hot Rod River Scott, you can see that the base paint job is basically the same, except that instead he has flames rather than the number 34. This version also has some damage, you can see, some wear and tear from racing out on the dirt, which is also present right there. Just a little amount of detail, which is not present on this one. I think the Hot Rod versions are cool, but I prefer the Heyday version a bit more. Next in line is this sick, Two pack with Caleb Worley and Jet Robinson. You can see Jet Robinson, it seems like he takes his racing a lot more seriously than Caleb Worley based on that crazy intense expression he's got right there. I flip them around, you can see the other two packs that you can get. Probably try and pick this one up, and I might pick this one up if I don't find Barry D pedal as a single. Let's take a look at Caleb Worley and Jet Robinson. Here is Caleb Worley. It's a very dark gray color, which I do quite like. And then he's got a number three right there, which looks like it has a motion blur, which is a really cool effect from the 50s, the time he raced. He's got a fairly happy expression with green eyes. You can see his grill and headlights right here, this plastic attachment. And then on the side, let's read the sponsors. It says, all good auto parts. All parts, all good. And King Bowling Alley. Some interesting little sponsors. And then there's his license plate on the back. Of course, he is the same model as Floyd Morgan and Duke Coulters. As you can see, there are some differences. The front grille section of Duke is different than the these two guys. Also, his wheels are different. So he's a little bit different, but overall, he's the same mold. Each of them have very similar expressions. You can see that Duke has some rear rims, which the other two don't. So he's a little bit more unique. You compare him to those ones. Out of these three, I honestly think that Caleb Worley is my favorite. I just like gray design with the uh, number three with the motion blur. I just think that's really cool. And here we've got Jet Robinson, which I honestly think is a really cool one. I like his colors for one thing, with the gold and the red. I also like the model that he is. You can see, unlike his box art, which you remember had this really determined expression, the diecast has a fairly chill expression. He's got green eyes. He's number 17. You can see, again, some kind of motion blur right there. Jet Robinson, written in red text. Number 17 on the side. His sponsor is Southern Gold High Test Gasoline. 
and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I've actually been there. That was a fun vacation. It was a long time ago. And then he also has this little rocket logo. It says, make way. I guess that's like his little slogan. He's definitely not the same model, but he is a little bit similar to Doc Hudson. So you can see these two compared together. Last pack awaiting us. It's this Walmart exclusive pack with Heyday Leroy Hemming and Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. The thing that makes this pack a little bit special is that it comes with these extra little flag accessories and the cones and what have you. But the real reason I got it was just to get the die casts. I still need to add them to my collection. You can see the other ones you can get on the back. Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet and Heyday Leroy Hemming, the most famous rivals from Doc's racing days. Let's pop them out of the package, shall we? Oh goodness, it's already spilling out. Here's, here's one stop cone. Here's the other stop cone. There is HUD's little thing. Here's the sign for Leroy. Here's Leroy himself. Here's Doc. All right, we almost got everything. Just the flags. Just need the flags. Here we go. Here's Doc's little flag with the number 51. Leroy's little flag. There, they've got their little dinky accessories. And I can't really do much with these, but we'll just take a quick look at it while we have it there. It says, Revolting, world's fastest production model stock sedan. So Revolting was a sponsor back then even. Very nice. And then we have the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Can't go wrong with that blue right there. Looks really classy. First of all, we can take a look at Doc. Back when he had all of his racing paint. He's got the nice shiny section up here, which really stands out. Same basic expression that Doc has always had. Up top here, we can see his number 51 and Hudson Hornet picked out in white paint. And then twin horsepower. On the side, we see the famous text, fabulous Hudson Hornet and his famous number 51, as well as an old timey piston cup logo right there. And then his tires say dirt track racer on them. Of course, he's got these red racing rims. And because he is the dirt track version, he does have some brown dirt and grime detailing going on, especially around the wheels. Comparing him to normal Doc, it's not a whole lot to say out loud, except that it looks like his expression is quite a bit different. You can see that in the eyes. Otherwise, it's the same model, same base color, just that this one is much more laid back and has the white wall tires. Because here he is alongside Smokey, his mentor. Lastly, here's Doc's old rival, Leroy Hemming. Look at his expression, he's just mean, you can tell. Just look at those glaring eyes. He is number 300, that says Leroy Hemming up there. Sponsor is Revolting, 300 again. Faraday Valley Dealers, that's one of his sponsors. It's a little Revolting logo right there. I like how retro that looks. Full power and long lasting. Orlando, Florida. His rims are not colored in, they're just black. Now on the front here, you can see his grill section picked out in silver and black paint, which looks really nice. On the back here, you can see some more stuff. Once again, he's advertising that he's the world's fastest stock car sedan. This car qualified at this number. You can read that, you can pause that and read that if you want. And his license plate reads, Leroy. There you have it guys. Some old racers from Doc's racing days to brighten up your day. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure you smash that like button and subscribe with notifications on for more coming. Now it's World Renowned Turbo Tractor signing out.